welcome to day number 59 on Journey to the UFC. In this series, I'm going from completely zero martial arts experience all the way to a UFC fighter. Chimaev raises the guard wisely. Usman loads up on a right hand. On a swing in. Oh, big oh, left hand. Oh, 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 what a tremendous fight. Hamzat Chimaev and Kamal Usman go the distance here in front of an appreciative crowd. So today has been quite a half-hearted day. If I'm going to be honest, it hasn't been the best, even though I've made some good achievements. Um, so as the day started for about nine o'clock, um, I got my eight hours sleep and woke up at nine. And then I just felt again, just lethargic. I'm not sure if it's because I'm taking like zinc and magnesium before going to bed. I'm not sure if that's literally making me feel like I could sleep an extra 12 hours when I wake up or is that just like the aches and the pains just making me feel like that. But honestly, I woke up today and I, I don't know if you've ever done this, the viewer, but when you wake up and you feel like you could literally just lay there wait the entire day and then just go back to sleep again and wake up the next day i feel like i just miss a day that's what i felt like it was it was crazy uh yes yeah, so then i woke up i had my uh two burgers burger pat like just, just the patties no bread and um, some egg and some smoked salmon with that egg it was really good um quite like a rich um rich fla rich flavor some meal for the breakfast i don't really like to eat carbs at breakfast because it gives me like brain fog and just making me feel like good uh, then after that, I did some research on diet and I was looking at uh, how there's actually three, I learned that there's actually three hormones that control like our, our stomach, if you get one, and like our food kind of. Um, one of those being, uh, those three being uh, insulin, leptin and ghrelin. And basically insulin is what tells your body when you eat sugar, it tells your body to like make fat uh leptin i'm no doctor so just and i've just watched the video so this is just me recording what i learned leptin is what tells your body to stop eating um when you get hungry and ghrelin is what tells your body that you are hungry and you should start eating so really you want to be eating and insulin can control your leptin so basically you don't want to be eating loads of high insulin foods like carbs and stuff like that because basically your um your insulin levels will rise and then insulin is the hormone that provo promotes fat, fat gain. Um, and you, it tells your body that it reduces your le leptin. So it doesn't tell you that you're kind of blocks it. So it tells you that you're not full. So you can just keep on. That's why if you have McDonald's, you can just keep on eating it. Because it's high in carbs and sugar. It triggers your insulin to really, really skyrocket. And then your leptin just gets blocked off. And then it's like you're still hungry. And then you buy another fucking... It's just pack of chicken nuggets or whatever the fuck they sell at McDonald's. Some bullshit, happy, sad meal or whatever. But um, yeah, it was really good to work out that but, um, and just watch a video on that because diet is such an important factor. And I think if you get diet right, uh, everything else can kind of fall into place. And previously throughout my life, my diet's been pretty shit. Like in school, I used to just eat like meal deals and shit. Um, so getting that knockdown will really help me out. And it's when you're like, when you're resting and you're not working, why not do something productive and learn a bit about diet? Uh, I don't like to always just watch like fighting and stuff on YouTube. And quite often, I think on YouTube, like watching it, it's just it's when it's when they're not when you're not doing that bit, so like the striking and stuff, and I'm not focused on striking. I just feel like it's counterproductive to watch something on that rather watch some jujitsu. There's only so much more jujitsu you can watch in one day, in my opinion. So I, yeah, I did some more stuff on diet. After that, I went swimming. Um, I did wasn't quite there with swimming today i was really struggling with the chlorine going up my nose it sounds like a bit of a like stupid thing to say but when when the chlorine really attacks you it like my eyes were stinging I barely see my it felt like i was in a not not like a gas chamber but um it <laughs> like a gas chamber it was turned to one percent you know um it wasn't quite nice um and i was just sneezing and it felt like oh it just felt like i was slowly dying at swimming pool i don't know why today maybe it just hit me a bit more the pool is a lot is very chlorinated and um, just that is a pool that is notoriously really chlorinated which is a bit shit but yeah so i did my lengths didn't do as much as i normally did but that was fine uh, at least i was got down there and did it uh then i got back and my mum made me like cheese on toast which wasn't really the best meal because after looking at this like glycemic index uh i've kind of learned that things like bread and stuff is something that i should really avoid should be trying to get stuff that actually lowers my uh with lower glycemic index 
I'll put a chart on screen. It's um, really interesting. So yeah, then I ate that and um, kind of just chilled out a bit, socialising with my grandparents. They came around, and then I went to jujitsu for uh, about at about seven o'clock, and be a really advanced class today. Super humbling once again. I felt a little bit like I was just a load of shit, to be honest. Uh, Jiu-jitsu is kind of that way, and I think martial arts in general. One day you feel like you're pretty decent. The next day you feel like if a fucking snail came along, um, it could tap you out from any position, you know. You just <laughs> you just feel like absolute shit. Um, maybe it's just me, but I think, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's super humbling. Um, and then, yeah, I, uh, I've come back and had a shower got to stay away from that staph infection and uh yeah this has brought me up to the position now uh something that i've also noticed that i'm just so tired at the moment on my back even in this video is feeling a bit tight just standing up um i'm not sure if it's just like knots in my back i don't know man uh i've really got to do lots more stretching keep that up uh that's definitely something i need to do of course the tournament is in around 33 32 days from now so locks in for that Got to really up the game because at the moment it's been a little bit of a half-hired approach. MMA, you can't be half-hired. You have to be full in or nothing. Like, it's just a load of shit if you're just half-hired approach. And I want to be in the UFC and that's the ultimate fire championship, not the half-hearted bullshit, dog shit fire championship, which is what I am at the moment. And I'm not saying to you guys, like people comment on videos, you've got to be all in on this shit. You've got to be all in. Yeah, I know I've got to be all in, but I'm trying to do as much as I can. And I think sometimes I do slip. I mean, I'm, I'm human after all, and that's just what happens. But yeah, uh, yeah, I'm trying my hardest. And it's what, well, this is day 59. I've done 59 days straight. I bet I've, well, I've met with my friends once in those 59 days. Um, and yeah, <laughs> people people say about my videos, like, oh, you must get girls and shit from your videos with your thumbnails and shit. Some people joke about jiu-jitsu and stuff. And I'm like, oh, on God, guys, um, I haven't spoken to a girl in about 59 days. So <laughs> that that's literally it. That, that, that's my life. I'm not partying. I'm not meeting up with anyone else. I'm just swimming, running, whatever the fuck. Jiu-jitsu, sparring all day, basically. Um, I, sometimes I do laps, but uh, yeah, I think that's just the human nature and we've just discipline is something that doesn't just come overnight you've got to build it up and build it up and build it up and that's what i'm trying to do um kind of turn myself into a david goggins kind of style you know uh yeah that's that's the goal but it is fucking hard like today um my mum bought like these you know like pastries and i was just was like oh fuck it i'll just have one what's the what's going to be the effect but it's not it's not the effect that the actual sugar has on you this is the biggest thing it's more the mental game. You've lost the mental battle with a fucking pastry. If you can't win a mental battle with a fucking pastry, how are you ever going to win a mental battle in the fucking ring? You're not. So, yeah, after that little rant, um, that's going to bring me up to today. Go get that sleep in, obviously, of course. And um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I, before I go, um, one more quick thing. I've just bought a really cool mount that can go in my car. So the videos are going to be a lot more interesting. I think at the moment I've been slacking my videos. Obviously... It's better to stack with the videos than stack with the actual training. But I would like to provide better content for you guys. And really, when I'm resting um, and watching fucking, I don't know, some bullshit YouTube shorts, like <laughs> someone ripping jujitsu saying it's gay or something on YouTube shorts. I swear I was always there. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make a better video for you guys. It's all about the discipline, uh, you know. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in day number 60 tomorrow. Day number 60 is going to be crazy. Trust. Bye-bye. Three, 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 three